Autumn is quite an exciting time for photographers. We get this beautiful scenery all turning orange, yellow, brown, leaves falling off the trees. So I thought it could be fun to show you how I edit autumn style photos using Lightroom from this to this. All right, I'm gonna show you a really easy way to edit fall tones in any of your photographs using only Lightroom. This is a really useful method in getting those fall tones if you live somewhere that maybe the trees are green all the time, like me. I live on a mountain, we get a few yellow trees, a few brown trees, mostly green. But I gotta have that orange fall tone from my Instagram. So let's jump into Lightroom and find out how to do it. Okay, here we have our raw image that we're gonna turn into an epic autumn styled photo. Uh, the best way I think is to edit it from the top down, just as these adjustments appear, that would keep it nice and simple. May not necessarily be how I edit it, but for the purposes of this tutorial, that's how we're gonna approach it. So let's get stuck into some basic adjustments just now, starting off with white balance. We're gonna use 6500 just to warm the frame up. And we're going to increase the tint probably by about 10. There we go. Exposure we'll leave until later until we know what we're looking at. And contrast will bump up. Not too much. Highlights will bring down just to balance out that blown out area in the back. It does add quite a cool effect, but we don't want it to be overpowering. There we go. Shadows will lift up a little bit. Whites will leave alone and blacks will reduce quite significantly. Just to darken that forest at the bottom there. Next, we're gonna increase our clarity just ever so slightly just to pop that subject. And Vibrance, because our finished product is gonna be very, very colorful, we're just dropping that Vibrance just now. Next, our tone curve. Our S curve is what we're looking for. Right now it's a straight line, so let's just adjust a very subtle S curve just to bring a more contrasty look into the photograph as a whole. There we go, that's looking pretty cool. And I'm just gonna raise those blacks up ever so slightly. And before we move on, I'm gonna click RGB down here. We're going to select red because our autumn theme is going to comprise primarily of reds or variants of red. We're going to make a very slight S curve here in the red tone curve too. Taking a tiny adjustments at a time. I'm going to change how I finish this one off with the highlights. I'm going to bring it down just so slightly. Let's maybe drop that a bit more. Okay, looking good. And we can flick that back to RGB. Next, hue, saturation, and luminance. We're gonna make quite a few adjustments here just to alter the color. And we'll take it step by step. So red, first I'm gonna lift up to about plus 10. Orange, we're bringing back to look more like red, so negative 60. Yellow, trying to get the yellows as orange as possible, so maybe about negative 80 for that and greens same thing we want them to be as yellow as possible rather than green not much green in autumn themed photos that's us done there saturation we're going to leave red alone bring orange just down ever so slightly yellow minuscule adjustment green we don't really want to see any green so take it down to about negative 50 and that will get rid of all that stuff in the background there all right quite up blue and purple, just because I've got a bit of purple in my hat, we're going to bring them down as well, just to match. And luminance, I'm only make two adjustments here, and that's to bring the oranges down and make them a little bit more moody. Make the yellows a little bit more bright. All done there. So next up is split toning, and um, I would suggest maybe putting the saturation up a little bit so that when you do make an adjustment here, you can see what it is you're doing because if I take this all the way down to zero and I move this slider, I'm not seeing anything moving. So putting that up there, 
lets me see exactly what it is that I'm doing. And for this photo, we want a hue of about 35. Shadows, we're not gonna bother about sharpening. Noise reduction, we can just move past them for the purpose of this. And lens corrections, the only thing we're gonna do is remove chromatic aberration. And we can move on. We can move all the way down to calibration. Now we're gonna make some significant changes in here just using these three options here. So let's start, we can move past tint, we can leave it there at zero. Let's start with red. So with red, I'm gonna increase the hue to probably about 55, 60. And the saturation I'm bringing down, because again, we're gonna have a super vibrant image at the end. So negative 35 for the saturation there. And green, I'm gonna adjust the hue, bring it more towards that yellow. Probably about 80-ish. And again, just drop the saturation just so we keep that moody feel. And blue, there's only one thing I'm gonna do here and that's change the hue probably around minus 15. Now, as you can see from the photo, we made some significant changes there. If I go to before and then after, you can see that we're pretty much there. So I'm just gonna go right back up to the top now. And exposure we left earlier, we can now adjust that wherever we want it. For me, probably there's good. And now two more things to do just to tidy it up. You can see here on the leaf there are some blemishes. So I'm just gonna grab the spot removal tool right here. And instead of taking it into Photoshop, I'm just gonna adjust here in Lightroom. And you try and get your brush size to about the size of the blemish. And then matching it up doesn't have to be perfect because it is a leaf, the pattern's all over the place. A little bit of attention doesn't hurt. Let's get that big one at the bottom. And now let's take a look at some of the smaller ones. Some of the ones that catch the eye. Because the leaf is the focal point, it's gonna get quite a lot of attention, so we wanna clean it up as best we can. Okay, let's see if we can do something about this hole in the leaf as well, just with this tool. match up quite easily. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So just to finish the image off, I'm gonna grab a radial filter here. I'm gonna stretch it out about the size of the leaf, plus a little bit extra. I'm gonna go down here and click invert. And what that makes sure is that any adjustments we make are inside the circle, rather than when it's unchecked, it's outside. So I'm just gonna reset these really quick. And for our adjustment, I'll probably raise the exposure, the shadows just a little bit as well. Pop a bit of clarity in, and then dehaze just to finish it off. Maybe feather it just a little more. And I think, I think we're done. Excellent. Okay, let's take a look at the before. And now the after. Okay, so we managed to create an awesome autumn style edit using only Lightroom. And it looks like this. I think that's pretty cool. So if you wanna post it on Instagram, you're gonna to wanna to do one more thing, and that is crop it, and they recommend cropping by a four by five. That takes out the most space on the feed. And you notice here that we have a landscape photo, so it's cropped at four by five landscape rather than portrait, which is what we need. So to get that portrait orientation, we just press X on our keyboard. There we go. I'm gonna just center the leaf because that's where ideally I would like it. Click done and you're good to go.
Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and consider subscribing if you want to learn more about editing, because I got a lot more information that I'd love to share with you in Lightroom, Photoshop, and Premiere Pro. Stick around and find out. See you next time.